Hello lovelies, today we are doing a fresh dewy makeup look that I am loving a lot these days and I obviously start with prepping my face but before the primer we start with a moisturizer. This one is from Sunday Riley, I've spoken about it so much and now um, I feel because of the weather change my skin is a lot more drier as well so this one is a bit more nourishing at the same time gives you that little glow, it's called the afterglow and don't forget the neck okay and that is step one and now it's actually time for that primer or that prep that you need before you go to makeup so i'm going to move on to step two which is a primer and this new one which i'm loving is from tatcha it's a little bit of a splurge or a lot of a splurge but it is brilliant, like it literally blurs out your pores, I feel, and it gives that little bit, it allows your makeup to stay on all day without like shifting it. So I'm just gonna go use the liquid silk canvas. So I've just taken a few pumps on my hand and I'm gonna go ahead and move the nose. And then with the remaining, I'm just going around the areas where I feel like my pores are a little bit more. And yeah, the name is exactly how it feels. It feels silky and I think that's why I like using my fingers because I like to feel that silky finish on my face. So that's what we did for Prep and Prime and now we're going to go right into the makeup. So now there is this newly purchased for me, um, Dot & Key Strawberry Strobe Cream and it makes your makeup glow like nobody's business. So what I'm going to do is instead of using it all over my face, I'm actually going to go ahead and get a mixing palette and mix it in with my foundation. It looks like a little white pearl, pearlescent sort of color. And I'm going to go ahead with my foundation. This one is from Smashbox. It's the Studio Skin one I have talked about it before if you can see and now all I'm gonna do is take my brush that I like to use for all over my face and mix it up so just going ahead and mixing it up it literally smells like strawberry and cream guys I feel like I'm I'm getting overindulgent with how much I want to use on my face just because I want to smell it Anyway, so that is the foundation and if you can already see that sort of glow that's coming in, I'm loving it. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put in some concealer. This is my regular Tarte Shape Tape um, in the shade Medium Honey and just blending. And now I'm feeling like I want to do a little bit of bronzer. So to create the dewy look, we want our cheeks to look flushed and I want to sculpt them a little bit. So I'm using a bronzer. You could skip this step if you wish. I'm just going under the cheekbones. And now I'm going along the jawline a little bit. The bronzer is from Rare Beauty. It's called Happy Soul. And what I love about this one is that it is the easiest to blend. You can actually blend it even with your fingers. I'm going to use a brush. Actually, you know what? I'll show you. It's that simple and it does not remain patchy. And I can sort of see the shadow. Hopefully you guys can see it too. So it's just a tiny bit if you can see it. And now for the blush, this is my absolute favorite new blush that I've been using. It's from Rare Beauty. It's called Worth and oh my god, this one is a game changer with liquid blushes. Using a liquid blush always helps or a liquid cream helps to sort of create that dewy look. So I'm actually going to go ahead and do just very light two dots on both sides. So I'm just using a brush. This is from Fenty Beauty. I think it's actually the highlighter brush. You see that? It's already so pigmented. And you can see, this is already so much, like I don't think you need a third drop. Sometimes even one would be sufficient. I, like I said, I was feeling a bit risky today and I had to go a little extra with the blending, but that's how dewy the blush also already looks. It adds to that shine that I can see. I'm gonna go ahead to create that extra, sorry, 
to create that extra like freshness to add that extra shine and dewiness i'm gonna go ahead with my revolution makeup revolution london highlighter it says bubble balm highlighter and how pretty is that guys like always struggling to open okay got it opened it's so pretty i can't i can't get over it but it's also my first time using it so i'm super excited to see how it goes okay i'm just gonna wow as much as it feels like a balm it doesn't go on like a balm it goes a little bit more like a powder so i think the fingers might be the best way to blend it in to create that warmth from the fingers that will help and you can see that golden glow that at least I can see over here and I'm loving it okay oh loving it and now I've almost forgotten that I didn't use any setting powder so honestly I feel like this look doesn't need a lot of it because we want to keep that dewiness so I'm not setting my face but I'm just going to do a little bit maybe under the eyes born this way ethereal setting powder that's what I'm using just so that my concealer doesn't shift you know with all of the expressions and now to frame my whole face i'm going to go ahead and do my brows this is like how you would regularly do your brows so i'm going to use this pencil from charlotte tilbury called brow cheat in the shade medium brown it's the micro precision brow pencil and then i'm going to finish it up with brow fix clear brow gel it's a transparent gel that sort of adds to that lightness and the dewiness and the freshness which i like as opposed to like a mascara so just to set the eyebrows in place so that is i'm just i haven't gone and made them too dark i just want to leave them as light and airy and just filled in and i'm going to finish with my brow gel that i spoke about from charlotte tilbury And now it's time for some mascara obviously we want our eyes to look big and open but you know you also want to look like you haven't made too much effort or worn too much makeup because that's at least that's how my version of the dewy look is it makes you look a bit like the no makeup makeup look but you actually have makeup so I'm just curling my lashes first this one is the Nykaa super size waterproof volumizing mascara so I'm gonna go ahead and and to finish the look I'm going to go in with my lipstick and for that I am using my Huda Beauty lip contour terracotta as a lip liner and I'm going in with Huda Beauty as well the trendsetter liquid matte Lastly, to set this all in, I have one of my most favorite products. This is also from Makeup Revolution. It's called the Glow Fix um, Illuminating Fixing Spray. So it sort of helps everything sort of fix and not budge, which is why earlier I was saying that, you know, I don't want to use too much powder to dry it out because I was keeping in mind that I wanted to use this at the end. So I'm just going to go ahead and spray it all over. Okay, I'm just gonna let this dry down, sort of fix my hair and come and show you guys the final look. But this is the most part of the makeup. I'll see you in a bit. So guys, this is the final look. I really hope you can see all of that glow peeking through, especially on the cheekbones, my nose. I feel like it's super glowy and I'm loving it. It feels very like hydrating, you know, fresh. Um, and that's how I feel like this makeup look makes me feel. I hope you liked my version of the dewy look and try it out and let me know what you think. And I will see you in the next video.